Hello everyone, I'm Lance Goyke and this is my old laptop. Today I want to talk about the plate squat, um, a more of a teaching easier progression in the uh, squat progression of exercises, but a good way to teach proper positions, teach you how to shift backward in your squat, and teach you how to keep your, your knees and your back and your hips healthier. So how do we do the plate squat? We take a, you know, about shoulder width stance, toes slightly outward. We're gonna grab a weight. And as we squat down, we're gonna reach it forward. Just like that. From the side, just like this. So why would I do the reach forward? So the reach forward shifts my weight back. And the way that I'll show that to you is I'm gonna squat down to the bottom and then I'm gonna reach forward and I want you to see where my body goes, okay? So I'm here and then I go here. You see how I shift back and then I shift back forward and then I shift backward, forward, backward, forward. So I need to do that so that I don't fall. Now, this, this position commonly when we're squatting we like to fall forward. We, humans just deal with stress that way. They fall forward. They bring their heels up off the ground. They get on their toes so they're ready to run whenever they need to run. Okay, it's the same thing with squatting. So the big thing with maintaining mobility while you're starting to train or while you're training is squatting in the proper positions. Now, if I can squat with my feet flat, my feet kind of relaxed and my heels down on the ground, then I can keep my mobility throughout the squat and afterwards. And even later on, it helps me deal with more stress. Okay, so consider using the plate squat early on in your squat progression, maybe in your warm up. It's great for teaching the right squat pattern, reminding yourself what it's supposed to feel like, and even getting a little bit of an endurance training effect over longer sets.